It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We have something interesting today. Pharrell Williams, who is literally a legend in the game. For anybody that does not know Pharrell, you need to look this man up because he is honestly behind a lot of the biggest hits. He's behind a lot of big artists that have made it into the game, a lot of dope music. And honestly, behind him, you got Q-Tip, who does not get enough love because that man was integral in a lot of the shit that we got today in music, in my own personal opinion. And you got, like I said, again, just read up, learn about these guys because it's it's necessary. But he did a song called Doctor, Work It Out with Miley Cyrus. Listen, Miley, at one point, that was wifey. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what nobody says. I rock with Miley. I think she's gorgeous. I like her personality with, with, with what I know of it. Obviously, I've never met her and hung out with her because that could be a little bit different than some of the stuff you see on the screen. But like Miley's bad, bro. Like, I don't know what I'm saying. There's been a lot of videos today I've done reactions to. I got to try not to get myself in trouble with. This is definitely going to be one of them. So let's uh, let's just get into this and let's uh, let's see what they're doing with it. I could be a doctor and I could be a nurse. I think I see the problem. It's only going to get worse. I need my medication. Just show me where it hurts. I need to rock you, baby, before your body burns. Let me work it out. Oh. Let me work it out. You can work it out anytime you want. Let little mama work you out. <laughs> okay. You want to work it out. Work it out. Yeah, y'all can't be showing me little close-ups of the, the hips and the booty. You know what I'm saying? You got to chill with all that. I ain't seen Miley in a minute, if I'm being honest. Last time I saw her, she had very short blonde hair. So this is very surprising to me. I didn't know that she had long hair now, and I didn't know that it was brown. But she rocks it well. She she definitely rocks it well. Is she naturally blonde or, or, or brunette? I, I don't even know. But this outfit that she's rocking is extremely dope. I like it. I like it. She, she's doing her thing. I, I like little simple videos like this at times, especially when it's someone like Miley. You know, stop playing with me. You want to work it out, work it out, yeah. You're my lover. I show you sympathy. Take your sugar and pour it into me. Let's let bygones be bygones and th Wait, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Did I just catch what she just said? She got a voice on her, by the way. But did she just say, I'm your lover. I show you sympathy. Take your sugar and pour it into me. Now, maybe my mind is in the gutter. But I can't help but wonder what sugar means. Is that something you wanna do? Oh, uh, yeah, I feel like working it out. Baby, if you want me to, I could be a doctor and I could be a nurse. I think I see the problem. It's only gonna get worse. I'm in my medication. Just show me where it hurts. I need to rock you, baby, before your body burns. Let me work it out. Let me, let me, uh, Back up both Are you on the fence? Still playing on the side. Are you on the fence? Don't waste my damn time. Are you on the fence? I said, but I won't slide. Don't gotta be forever just together for the night. I feel like we're getting out. Is that something you wanna do? What's funny is this is like the story of so many relationships. I feel like a lot of us probably have a story that fits this, right? So she's like, you know, I feel like working it out if that's what you want. So we're talking about obviously a relationship and, you know, trying to work out some issues and stuff like that. But then she even said, like, listen, we ain't got to be together forever. We just got to spend the night, you know, at the very least. Like, I can't. T listen, we all we all know damn well that we've had a relationship that you've gotten out of and. 
you know what I'm saying? You might have went back real quick and a couple little things happened and it's like, you know, we got to work it out a little bit. I mean, sometimes you end up getting back together, back together. Other times you realize, you know, we're probably not great for each other. But it ain't mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we can't have a little bit of fun for a night, right? So, I, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is an interesting song. I'm curious if this has anything to do with real life for her at all. Like if she's just recently been out of a relationship or if this is a song talking about something she wrote in the past. Because I feel like a lot of music, a lot of music comes from personal experience, right? Not always, but sometimes it comes from even you reading, uh, not reading, um, like myself even. Like when I write music, there's times where I write music based around other people that I know of around me. Right. Like I have a song called Heroin High, which I talk from the perspective of the person doing the heroin and go through this whole story. But it's really more so about somebody that lives locally. And in the end of it, I made it seem as if the person, you know, went back to the drug and ended up passing away. The person I talked about didn't really pass away. So I, I fabricated a little bit at the end because I felt like it was more impactful to like the way that things can go. You know what I'm saying? But the story of doing the heroin I've never done it. I've never even tried it. Nothing like that. But I know somebody who has. And so I kind of wrote it in their perspective, but just used myself as the subject. If that makes sense. So sometimes we do that with music. Sometimes we just make songs because it's a bop. But I feel like a lot of times we make music from a personal experience. <laughs> It's only gonna get worse A midnight medication Just show me where it hurts I need to rock you, baby Before your body burns Let me work it out Let me, let me, uh, let me, let me, let me Let me work it out Let me work it out, yeah. Let me, let me, let me Let me, let me, let me Let me, let me, let me You wanna work it out doing a little bit of the chicken right there I like Miley you wanna work it out I think one of my favorite parts about this was that she seemed like she was really genuinely having fun and enjoying herself and when I check out music videos and stuff like that's probably the thing that I hope to see the most is that the person that's in it is, is genuinely having fun, genuinely enjoying the process of it. So it's cool to see that she's enjoying it because she's been around for a minute now. Sometimes it gets a little bit old or, you know, you, you've been through it so many times. Like it, it's like kind of the, the kind of takes the steam out of it. You know what I'm saying? But it seems like she's still rocking, still doing her thing. I haven't seen her or heard her in a minute. I don't like actively listen to a lot of her music necessarily, but I was familiar with her. And um, I didn't expect that she was going to have long brown hair that threw me off she she rocks it well though so shout out to miley let me know what else you guys want to see down below make sure that you guys know about pharrell williams don't be playing with me pharrell that guy especially when it comes to these beats these hits like the, that that is that guy he's definitely somebody that you should know about and even furthermore like i said you should know about q-tip because we wouldn't have all the stuff pharrell offered us if it wasn't for q-tip who helped put pharrell in the position that he's in and many other artists that you probably don't even realize so um appreciate you guys take it easy stay safe i will catch you in the next one homies